empty space. <laughs> Looking like you're Arnold dead. Schwarzenegger and <laughs> yeah, your fucking eyes bug out, your <laughs> blood freezes, and you're dead. Like I don't like it's just really funny. Like I, I that's a that's a strange uh, you know engineering thing that'd be like how would you how would you engineer it to be like how would you detect like exactly where you're supposed yeah, to how be? How would you put your waypoint? Yeah, you'd have to like you know. I well, mean, it'd probably be some I mean, cool. Mathematically, it, it wouldn't be impossible. I mean, no, yeah, if you were like, orbits. yeah, if you're like going to be, I'm a, you know, you just throw quantum in there as an explanation if you're doing a sci-fi movie. Yeah, I'm a quantum <laughs> computer can throw up a, you know, a, a time Historic. relative, time relative uh, predestination uh, simulation that and go ahead and throw you back there exactly where the Earth was at this time. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's, it's really a little aspect that they never really. They're like, eh, we're not going to worry about that plot hole. Um, <laughs> Nobody really explains it, but it's like, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I know. I just, I really would love to see or, cause, or cause how about Yakuza this? zero. Yakuza zero is my favorite video game. And it's set what in if it's, Japan is dope as shit. <laughs> like, what if time travel works there. something like this in the future where it's like, we cre- say we physically kind of create, we're like, this can work. We can do this. We figured out scientifically how to do it, whatever, but you have to make a beacon. Right. So it's like, we have a waypoint. Boom. So it's basically, so starting today, time travel is possible. So tomorrow you could come back today because we have a, whenever you develop a beacon, the, put the beacon, whenever, in. whenever you have, whenever you develop that beacon, right. Where it's like beacon. home base, but then time is lost to us from like beyond that point. But whenever that beacon's created, time travel is possible because it's like you go to there that's where you go that's where you're sent back but it's like we have to create that that point in time first where it's possible i've never kind of thought of it that way i thought that'd be kind of be interesting it's like a save point in time it's exactly save point yeah, <laughs> that's exactly that's the, what uh, it would be. <laughs> that's the but that's the if con- we create the... a save point this is 100 percent a simulation if we create that's a save the, point. Uh... <laughs> That's the same concept from uh, Rick it? Morty. It's from Warhammer 40K. There's like a well, there's Rick and Morty got a whole episode on. It. Yeah. It's, Mo- it's Mario, man. Once you get to the halfway mark in the level, you can jump through the flag. <laughs> saves your saves your game. Save your. Well, brother. that's what in, uh, in, in a couple of books I'm reading. Like that's what makes uh, long distance space travel uh, possible. Is like yeah, you have a beacon, and therefore you're able to enter into the warp, the Imperium, and then you're able to travel because your your navigators have something to navigate but, by okay, and orient so themselves. If, by. if time travel, if time travel truly, you don't change the future. You just cr- change a timeline. So if you go back, you basically make a new, a completely new you know timeline where wherever you left from still exists and continues on but when you go back you're creating a completely different timeline you would have it where it's like rich people would go back and be like well i want to be uber rich you know what i mean like i want i could pay and come back with all this knowledge and now just control everything and i'm just gonna live my life out being some sort of earth czar because i know all the answers so elon musk has done this is what you're saying Maybe, oh. maybe that's the thing, right? Maybe this is one of those. He things sets where it's a like, beacon. He watches Twitter develop. He goes back in time. This is when he takes over Twitter. He knows what the future already is. He sees yeah. it. So you gotta trust Elon in this scenario. Is what you're saying? Well, I don't Have trust to. anyone that has <laughs> uh, access to that amount of money. I think they're out of touch. But <laughs> he's gone back in time too many times. As for extension, that's what happened to his body. Every time you go back to fucking, you know, you get warped, you get that big, saggy <laughs> chest. Yes, it's very, it's very, very disproportionate to how it's super it translucent. Like, I know that's probably yeah, an unflattering like photo of the one of him getting out of the pool, but I was like, that, that's not a normal proportion for a body. No. That looks really no. weird. And then all of a sudden, you start to have this, like, weird accent. That doesn't make any sense. It's, it's like not like quite South African. I mean, I, I'm, on, I'm with Brayden where it's like I can't exactly trust a person when I, you know, they they were married to Grimes, like her, yeah. that, and she left. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. You know what's annoying? <laughs> know who Grimes is. You know what the most annoying thing about that Grimes thing? That she's a Canadian artist. She's that one. Nope. She's, like, she's a mu- musician. His mom was. She's like. Oh, she's yeah. like one of those like avant-garde artists, right? Like she's like she's not. Um, I think she was one I'm of those. Go- was she fights with a sword. <laughs> no. On guard. <laughs> you know, she's is, is she does she do music or something? She's an artistic she's, type, but she's a like, musician. We, she's a singer. Yeah, right. She's, she's a singer. With swords. But you know what? When she when she was dating, she, that was, was funny. Was she dating or married? Well, she's married, so she's married or dating the richest person in the world. Right, and they had a and kid. And she's a Canadian. She's a Canadian artist, and in Canada, uh, we have something called like Factor, which is like grants for up and coming artists. Sure. 
and she won this grant, even though she's dating the richest guy in the world, which like every artist wants to w- wants because right. like sixty five thousand bucks like jump starts a, a career. It's like super competitive. Yeah, it's like the, the fucking. <laughs> she's getting Gordon, that. Gordon she's probably Lightfoot getting twice that month in child support. She so she she won, and everyone's like, "But you don't, you don't." But why sixty five thousand? <laughs> like you have unlimited money, you can do whatever you want with music. No wonder you're famous. Yeah. You have all the money in the world. You don't. Elon probably told her to apply for it. This is how that's you get what? rich. That's this is how you get rich, honey. Yeah, it was everyone, like any independent artist in Canada when that happened, they're like, "So it doesn't matter. You just could be rich, and then you know the right people, yeah. and you just get it." <laughs> you just can get this grant, right. yeah. And uh, there's, a certain, you know, there's a certain threshold. I'm pretty sure. Uh, like that's my theory. Is like, buddy, more than scumbag, theory, buddy. scumbag. <laughs> once you, once you, you have enough money, like once you pass a certain threshold, you just beget the money begets more money. Like you just you just get more oh, money. Yeah, you for don't whatever. pay for things. You go for you know, everything gets comp to get free shit yeah. all the time. Yeah. It's just crazy. How much is uh, how much is Elon worth? Well, he's lost sixty billion or something. So yeah. Well, it's lost it yet. Take a big hit. It's gonna take a hit for, for sure. Of imaginary oh, money oh, or whatever oh. money he's worth. The fact that it, well, it's like as long as he owns how long Tesla, were they so you essentially have unlimited money. Like I don't against know his brand. Let's say, let's say two oh. years. There's I'm probably the, there was probably a prenup though in that I would imagine. But you probably still got millions. Yeah, I'm sure. Interesting. But I'm just like. Like her, her spouse's support. If he's worth whatever, how many hundreds of billions of dollars, her spouse's support would be just a number that's absolutely ungodly. Because ca- Canadian law doesn't care about. If she's Canadian. Canadian law doesn't care about a separation agreement. It's what's in the best interest of the child. So it wouldn't matter. Like he would have to pay the guidelines based on. Canadian, like Canadian child support, as long as she's living in Canada and the kids. Yeah, Canadian. but there's probably like a maximum amount of like, all right, after a million bucks, like this guy, this child's doing pretty good, I think. A million a month. But what <laughs> yeah. I'm what I'm saying is like, she didn't need sixty five thousand dollars. She ended. Up, actually, I just looked. I just looked it up to double check. It was ninety thousand. She got a grant. Wow, good for her. They give her. They threw in a little extra. <laughs> like you did. Really, you're gonna get two grants. You're gonna get two years extra worth of grants. money. Uh, that is yeah. unbelievable. It was pretty fun. Well, as and she's not very good. No, she's yeah, terrible. No, I've never heard of her. You could go to any open mic in any city in Canada or the states, anywhere, and yeah. witness better talent. I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> not that I'm not. She probably is talented in her own way, but that's the thing about music is you don't have to be super talented. Yeah. You need you need some good. You need some you good backing. Image. You need you image. And you need some Musk. good backing. And you can, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what you really got to do. So don't go buy Grime tickets, all right? She doesn't need you. That's, money. yeah. F- fuck Grimes. Grimes. Unbelievable. <laughs> she, like, she should be making music for free at this point, in my opinion. She shouldn't be getting government fun. grants. That's for fun. No. Yeah, definitely shouldn't be giving, like, that's kind of She should put out albums weird. for free. She should be making no money off her music. She's set. Yeah, just just for fun now. You got millions. Or yeah. how much? I have no I idea. I still think I still think it's kind of nice that can that gives you money to to do what you like. <laughs> I find that, I find that kind of, only if you're already rich. Canada right. supports or, artists or if you're well connected, or yeah. whatever you said. Like the guy who came to your studio after smoking crack. He had a good time. He loves crack. Well, he loves crack. Yes, he loves uh, it. But, that, well, that but he also loves rapping. Doing it. He loves rapping. He's yeah. actually pretty good too. So. I can't, nice. name him. I can't name him after just telling the story, but <laughs> <laughs> I heard this guy talking about you smoking crack. <laughs> oh fuck, that's too funny. Um, what else we got for this power hour? I think that's it. I think that's about an hour. About an hour. All right. Well, anything hour, else to clean the tongue for sign off? Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. Let us know what your favorite street drug is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hypothetically, you have Hypothetical. to. You have to. <laughs> right? A you guy in a trench coat comes out. He's got a gun. He opens his trench coat. It's just full of street drugs. And he says, you're doing one. Or what are you doing? Dead. What are you choosing? 
and it can't, it, it, and it can't be it can't, for rules. It can't grow out of the ground. It's got to be completely unsafe, unregulated. <laughs> it's right? it's got to be cooked in a lab or altered yeah, in some, some way. Some sort of synthetic. I feel like uh, there's going to be a there's going to be a heavy heavily moderated thread on her thing about people just I'm <laughs> taking heroin. <laughs> like yeah. this might be what gets us finally canceled off Facebook. This mm, might be the last. This drop. might get, we'll get us more than a shadow ban. <laughs> Yeah. In, inciting drug use mm. jail hypothetical drug use hypothetical drug use for sure i just say yeah so uh other than that no let's wrap this one up this is a good wrap power. Up. sorry uh you know maybe we'll, we'll try to reline up things with ben Bolin, but uh you know he's a, he's a busy guy he's a busy guy he's big actually true, he's a true professional he, podcaster he's hard he did and it, uh, he, he got big time. us last minute we so we didn't have time. anything else prepared just like fucking elvis remember yeah yeah, Ben Bolin joins a really small club of people who have stood us up last minute. It now goes Ben Bolin and Elvis. And Elvis. So, ben pretty Bolin, good list, good comp- hey, Pretty good list. You're in pretty good company, Ben Bolin. You and Elvis are the only people that stand us up last minute. Um, we don't hold it against you, though. He's a busy guy, so busy guy. So it's all good. We we've met him. He's a, he's, he's good. Busy. He's a good. He's good, good people. So uh, we won't go too hard on him. Maybe next time, though. We'll line it up. All right. Thanks, everybody. Peace. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10-minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.